thank you for choosing Sip Nation Agency, the best agency ever out there, really, for real, to be your agent as you go on your live stream journey. The biggest component about becoming a host on the Beagle Live app is probably the host audition. And people are very, very nervous about it, but it's probably the easiest thing that you'll have to do on the app, really. Um, so the first thing you need to know about a host audition, it must be done in single live mode only. And that's where we're in right now. It can't be on a panel. You can't have guests in the guest box. You can't have any of that. So you have to be in single live mode only. It's you and it's the, it's the people and it's just that, um, engaging. Um, the second thing, it should never be done in a moving vehicle. It should never be done in a place where you don't have good lighting, which is where I am now. <laughs> so I do have a little mini ring light that I bring with me. It was like maybe 25 bucks at Walmart. Um, I love it because it does provide light for uh, live streaming. It doesn't hold my phone, but it's definitely that girl when it comes to... Uh, I, I do have a bigger ring light for you know different purposes, but this gives me good light. And you'll see, it really does. Ooh. <laughs> so I kind of just set it up. Look at that light. It's, it's, it's really good. And so um, that's good lighting is important. Taking your time, talking to the people is very important. During your host audition, you cannot and should not kick anyone. Meaning, give them the boot out of your live scene. If they're saying something crazy, just smile and keep it pushing. Um, try to answer all the questions that come up. And that's going to be how you succeed in a host audition. You should arrive to your host session and be live about five minutes before your host audition. And I do recommend in staying live about five minutes after your host audition. Um, your host audition is just basically your chance where a big old admin will be looking. And it's your chance to kind of just showcase your talent uh, or so showcase like your social and interactive skills. Um, it's a way that you can show that you understand growth and you understand the Beagle Live uh, platform, the ecosystems and everything. During the host edition, you definitely have to follow the rules of conduct. Conduct. There will be no smoking. There will be no. Uh, <laughs> there will be no nudity, no touching yourself, nor and you try not to curse and mention other, especially competing platforms. Uh, be on time, um, and and just pay attention to the quality of your stream. And that's it. It's that simple. You're just on here chilling and talking to the people for 30 minutes, and I'm sure you'll pass. All right. So make sure. Oh, another thing I wanted to point out during your host edition, a lot of people just, for some reason, try to have the best connection you can. Uh, you don't want to have like a choppy connection. You don't want to have a lot of stuff as far as just things going on. You kind of just want to have a good connection. Make sure you do your Wi-Fi or you're in five bars, 5G, whatever it is. You want to be have the best connection as possible because you don't want a lot of that choppiness. Um, like I said, don't use a VPN. Another thing, a lot of people use VPNs for location purposes. Don't use that. Um, and generally speaking, your results come back really, really fast, but it can take up to 40 hours depending on what's happening to know if you're confirmed host or not. And lastly, have fun. Just have fun. All right. So this is another thing I do recommend. Them churn. Everybody in the house, just kind of let them know, look, I need these little 30 minutes to do my do my ditty. Okay? So just do that. Another tip I want to tell y'all about host auditioning. Keep saying double tap and shut alive. I don't know why they like to hear you say that, but they like to use it. Hi, thank you for coming to my audition. My name is Rodney MC Shaky Roussel. I am from the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, and I've pretty much lived in Louisiana for uh, most of my life. Um, and this is my host audition. So that's what it is. I'm from New, New Orleans, Louisiana, um, but I did live in different parts of Louisiana at times in my life. So I kind of got the experience of big city, Louisiana, big city south and small country town south. So I got both of them. What content will you bring? Well, I am I'm a type of person that just believes in talking to people. So I plan on just giving the people a lot of, you know, them, a lot of what they see, a lot of what they want to know. And I'm a, I'm a person of that. I think I have the ability to 
adjust content as needed. Like if I needed to do interview, I can do an interview. If I need to be interview, I can be interview. If I need to do game shows, if I needed to do uh, talent shows, if I needed to dress and drag, whatever I needed to do to kind of just entertain. I think at heart and at root, I am going to be an entertainer. Yes. Um, please, and also by all means, double tap and share the live. Let someone know and let them come on in. Um, so I definitely can't think I'll bring a variety of stuff. It's not like I'm one sided, like I'm just going to be doing this or just going to be doing that. What do you want out of Beagle and what do you plan again? Well, from Beagle, I want a chance because I understand this platform is wonderful at engagement. It kind of puts you in the cusp of people. I was on other apps prior. Um, and I've experienced a lot of successes and failures in other apps. And I think the thing that makes Beagle unique is the fact that it's so right in your face engaging, like they're right there. And the fact that the gift mechanism is there, it makes us feel like, hey, you know, OK, I'm doing the right thing or I'm doing the wrong thing. And please, by all means, if you would like to send a gift, you can and double tap and share the live. Do you have any favorite Beagle hosts that you look up to? Um, yeah, of course. Uh, coming to Beagle, I kind of knew some people before, but um, and so we'll just say I knew, of course, Savannah. I knew, of course, Super. I knew, of course, uh, Ashley. Um, um, and so I knew a few people before Beagle. Lo, Cortez, Trina B. Knew all of them before Beagle. But so, of course, they are all my favorites. Like, and that's just what it is. Um, coming to Beagle, I found, I met Robert, I met Eb, I met, um, you know, Brandon, of course, I met Empress, and some of these people are definitely some of my favorite hosts as coming to Beagle and meeting them. And so, thank you so much for loving the hair color. Double tap and share the live. This is my host audition. I am auditioning to be a host here on the Beagle Live uh, app. I'm excited to be here, and so I'm definitely getting um, the hang of it. No pink. They have not. What time do we have to go live? Um, my favorite color is the color green. Um, as y'all, if anybody that knows me know that the green is somewhere in everything I do, whether this is my hair or something, but I love green. That is my favorite color and I love it. Do y'all have any business ventures? Yes, I do. Um, currently I am the CEO um, of a company called Sip Cosmetics. I also have a media firm called Sip Media Group and I've just started to do agency work as well. Um, and another venture that I am working on, I just actually discovered something that I'm looking into very hard is um, I want to do spirits. I actually um, have connected with a white label spirit company. Um, and so beginning next year, we're going to be looking into bringing you a vodka called Paris Ave, the avenue that I'm from in New Orleans. And I want to do a tequila as well. Um, and we're putting ourselves in position for that. So it's very soon, one of my business ventures will be actually selling alcohol. <laughs> um, so, and I'm not really an alcohol drinker, really. Um, one drink and I'm good. So yeah, I do have a lot of business ventures. I am, I consider myself a person of um, entrepreneurial spirit. Um, I love to kind of just, you know, and I'm not afraid to try something. A lot of people are definitely afraid of failure and that's not me. If I try and it don't work, okay, whatever. I go on to this stuff. I look drunk now. Wow, I'm not drunk now. I'm 100% just above board. I don't know what that means. But thank y'all. Double tap and share the live. This is my host audition. And um, I'm being, I'm going to bring to Beagle a lot of fun stuff, a lot of variety of stuff. And I'm kind of interested in what Beagle would do for me as well when it comes down to it. Because Beagle will allow me a chance to really get down to the nitty gritty of engaging with you. Is SIP an acronym for something? Um, yes and no. The word SIP comes from us, uh, my family, as you know, began on another app. Um, and that app, we they wanted to have, for some reason, we we, we kind of just became endeared to each other. And they said, we have, this is definitely not my idea. Um, and um, we had a show um, at three o'clock, which was called The Tea at Three with shaky and every day at three we talk about the tea and um the tea at three was very very successful um and the people who became uh fans of the show and family of mine understand the difference uh decided to have a context about what they want wanted to have a name like more, like beyonce had the beehive and uh cardi b had the barty cardi tardy gang whatever it is they have and all this stuff. And so we definitely wanted to have something for ourselves. 
Um, and so we started, we went, we called ourselves the Sippers for the longest. Um, as that grew, uh, I wanted to put it in a position to make sure that nobody can kind of take it and profit off of it. So I definitely trademarked, I've already had trademarked my name, my stage name and my likeness. And so therefore, um, I wanted to trademark the Sippers, but, uh, I could not trademark the name Sippers, which is how the word Sip Nation was bought, uh, birth. The Sippers arising from our show at the time, the tier three. So I spilled, they sipped the tea. And so it became the Sippers. Um, and so they still, and you'll hear some of the Sippers still talk about being called Sippers. Uh, but Sip Nation became a thing. Um, at the time, like, it was like Dish Nation and Pop Nation and kind of just like, it felt right, which was something that I could trademark. And so that's kind of how, we got Sip Nation because you kind of know it today. So that didn't even begin on this app or it didn't be have a thing for Bigo. It actually was something that started in another app and just grew and grew and grew. And so now we have uh, Sip Cosmetics, Sip Media Group. Uh, we're going to have um, Sip Nation Spirit. It's, it's what I'm going to call the company. Um, like I said, that's the beginning of the year for the, uh, for the vodka and the tequila that I'm coming out with. Um, that I do any type of thing under the SIP brain. So please, yes, as she mentioned, please double tap and share the live. This is my host audition, and I look forward to being a host here on the Big O Live app. Thank you so much for coming. If you feel like gifting, you can. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for saying that I'm a major inspiration. Thank you so much. But I feel like for me, um, I feel like for me, coming from other apps may have been a blessing and a curse because I did not feel like I had to work for anything. I felt like I just was doing me. Um, <laughs> but Beagle was an app that quickly, quickly, quickly um, humbled, humbled me. Um, Cause somebody add thick delicious, if not, um, um, delicious and explain to her what's going on because I would never like to, to say it. But one thing that I saw was humbling to me was that Beagle Live was its own ecosystem. Um, and so with that being said, I learned quickly that what you did other places may be a thing, but you still have to work for it every day. And so Beagle Live taught me a lot about just like, you know, you got to wake up every day. Every single day, it doesn't matter what day it is. If you want it, you're gonna you have to earn it. No one's gonna give you something just because of nobody and nobody. Okay, we know you because of who you were. We know you because of what you did. But we're here to find out what you're gonna do. Um, and that's what it is. Um, and oh, the acronym. I'm so sorry. The acronym of SIP would necessarily be I I, I consider specializing in personal. I don't know if that <laughs> in my mind, like special, because it's all about you. Like Sip Nation is not just about me. I say our family a lot. I say you a lot. A lot of the things I do, I think, are selfless, but it's definitely a way for me to reconnect with people who actually were there, invested in my life, and invested in myself from the beginning, and people that are just coming to that investment. And when I say investment, I mean like investing their time and investing their attention because it's a lot. And so I realized that. And so definitely specializing in personal because you. I want everybody who is a part of SIP Nation to achieve their goals. Now, does that mean I'm going to come and give you your goals? Does that mean I'm going to come and be your goals for you? It definitely does not. But if if you come to me and say, this is what I want to do, I will help you do it. I want people to look at me as the Home Depot or the Lowe's of whatever your goals is. Like I might not, I won't, if you have a vision for a house, I'm not going to build a thing for you, but I got a hammer. I got some nails, I got some plywood, I got some bricks, I got some cement, I got whatever you need. So that's kind of like where it is. <laughs> right. Thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all double tap and share the live. This is my host audition. Um, and I appreciate y'all coming through. I appreciate y'all just double tap and share the live. If you want to, you can definitely um, send a gift. And I appreciate that as well. Yes. So, I mean, I'm, so it's me, y'all asking me questions. Let me ask y'all some questions. As this is me coming to Bigo, what would you like to see for, a, as far as what I bring? And that's just really an open question. Even if you're not like Sip Nation, even if you're, even if you're just a casual viewer, what would you like to see me bring to Bigo? 
realism. All right, that girl V, entertainment, definitely interviews. The interviews will start back at the beginning of the year. We had to take some uh, breaks because of some things that were going on personally and internally. And also, I'm at my mom's for the holidays. So therefore, uh, and anybody that knows me knows this is my this is my room at my mom's house. Uh, and so they know that. Uh, so right now, it was just like kind of inconduitive to stuff. Um, this is the holidays. Everybody with their family and stuff like that. So we want to just kind of kick off next year with the bang. So we definitely done a troll day. Okay. Yes, the, the interviews are not going anywhere there. And can you, I just kind of pause them while I'm getting that. The financial literacy training. Okay. Um, we want, we can definitely put that together. I would hope that one of our, the, I would hope to, yes, financial literacy training. Um, definitely if you want some financial literacy training, we can definitely look into incorporating that when we do. Even if we could find a host that wanted to host that has some financial stuff and we could kind of combine with them, we'd definitely like to do that. How do you create a new page? Uh, it's simple. You go and create a new page. Log out of your original page and create a new page. So it's not, so this is not necessarily a question. This is my host audition. This is my host audition. So please double tap, share the live. Um, and if you wanted to, you can give. This is my host audition. So double tap, share the live. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all for all the double taps. I appreciate y'all for all the live shares. Thank y'all so much. This is my host audition. Everyday people interviews. That's definitely interesting and something that we can look into putting in together. Like the everyday. Actually, that's actually a great idea. Are all host auditions 30 minutes? Yes, they are 30 minutes. It's really not a question about me. Your host audition will be questions about you. About you. About you. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, that's definitely something. Um, so if you don't know me, you can ask the question. If you do know me, you can ask the question as if you didn't know me. So, yeah, uh, again, I'm so happy to be here on the Beagle Live platform. Please double tap and share the live. What content are you bringing to Beagle? Um, kind of as stated earlier, I was going to do, uh, I'm going to continue with interviewing um, and I'm definitely looking to, Beagle has a lot of new stuff when it comes to gaming and uh, the audio components. And so podca podcasting is something that people always were saying that I should do because they think my voice is so soothing. And so I would definitely look into that as well myself um, through the audio component of Beagle. Um, and then there's also the, there's also the uh, gaming part and this is something people really don't know i do have a i have a playstation i do play games i'm not a computer gaming person but i am definitely a console gaming person um i'm a playstation network mc shake it live if y'all want to come there and uh, play a game of madden or something or I'm, I'm into that i was ranked in the world before um i was part of a real, real big uh madden tournament one time i lost to td barrett i don't know y'all know who that is he's a big big gamer <laughs> i lost i got my butt kicked <laughs> What do you see? Oh, good. Two good questions. I do like to travel. I don't travel internationally because in case you didn't know, I was formerly incarcerated. And so I have a criminal background, which prevents me from getting a passport. Um, what's your dream vacation? A cruise. Where do you see yourself five years from now? I see myself five years from now. Um, kind of, I don't know. I want to go. I want to evolve in television. I'm not sure exactly what thing there is for me in television but i feel like that's like a national a natural progression about what i do make sure y'all double tap share the live this is my host host audition for the sip nation agency i'm definitely glad to be a part of bigo i'm glad to be here so make sure you double tap and share the live what's your favorite football team the new england patriots duh like whatever i don't care that tom brady's not there anymore i don't care that belichick's just a tyrant and mean um, my favorite, I don't care that Indianapolis coach just whooped our butts in front of everybody. I am such a New England Patriots fan. Um, and it's a funny story how I became a New England Patriots fan. And this is just really, really funny. I'm going to get to y'all questions in a minute. Please double tap and share the live. This is, I'm not from New England. I'm definitely not. Um, real world conversations on. What about, the reason I'm not a Saints fan is because my parents are Saints fans. And they're very invested 
They're very invested. And so what happens is I my first memories of what the Saints were was something that made my mom cry because she was so invested and she was just like, anytime they lose, she really like really cry for real. She's she'd be mad. Like so it's like I didn't like them because they were they they they, they really were bad when I was coming up. They were really like they were bad, very bad when I was coming up. Yeah, I'm not a Saints fan. And so um and I'm coming from a household where I have four brothers in the house, and so it was kind of like um, a lot. And so with that being said, it was like we had to watch football on Saturdays and Sundays. And so it was just like uh, we weren't really the richest people. We had we had two TVs, the one in my mom's room and the one in the front room. And so we didn't watch a hut TV. But we watched the one in the front one, and they dominated Saturdays and Sundays with football. Um, and so uh, I remember in, uh, in uh, 97 – the Super Bowl was in New Orleans and it was such a big thing and everybody was talking about it and it was just like, ah, we were love to. Okay, I just dropped something. Excuse me. Y'all, please, that's my cue to say double tap and share the live. Oregon is my favorite college football team, but only because I love the colors of their uniforms and it's not no shade. There's no other reason why. Um, they were good sometimes, but not good all the time. But I, their uniforms is just everything. I'm so sorry. The Oregon Ducks uniforms, it just be busting. I'm so, they, they, they just really, I would really wear that somewhere. Um, I was, yes, I was alive in 97. Thank you, Pink New Car. Um, but so what I did, so the New England Patriots, so the, the year of the Super Bowl, the New England Patriots were playing the in, in when it was in New Orleans. The New England Patriots were playing the Green Bay Packers, and so all my brothers excited, but I don't have nothing excited about because I don't have a team. And so um, I was just like, you know what? Whoever wins is gonna be my team. Now the Green Bay Packers did win the Super Bowl that year, so I was kind of this close to being a Packers fan. And but I watching the game and everybody being excited about it. Uh, the New England Patriots had a quarterback called Drew Bledsoe. And I just thought he was the cutest thing, especially in comparison to Brett, Brett Favre, who was the the quarterback for the Green Bay Packers at the time. And so I am I was literally looking at this dude is cute. And so the dude at Pitches became my team because Drew Plitzel was cuter than Brett Favre. Um and so but so but that invested me. Um I that invested me. You know, and Brett Favre being from Mississippi, it was a big thing for her down here when that happened. And I don't know, Tom Brady came later after I was already a New England Patriots fan. And uh, Belichick and Tom Brady actually came later. I didn't like either one at first. At first, I really didn't. I did not. It was like, oh, my God, these people are trash. Um, and I love my Drew Bledsoe. I love my Drew Bledsoe. Um, in fact, I know this. The, co the, the coach for the New England Patriots before Belichick was actually Pete Carroll. Yes, I love jazz. I love, I love reggae. I love those types of music. And so, it, the, so <laughs> I didn't like either one, but Tom Brady, of course, earned my respect. And I've just been a diehard Man and Pitchers fan since. I'm not a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. I do am a Tom Brady respecter. More interviews on empowerment and growth. Okay, Jazzy Baby, I got you. Y'all make sure y'all double tap and share the live. This is my host audition, and I'm hosting, I'm auditioning to be a host here on the Beagle Live platform. Where did the name Shaky come from? I used to be a dancer, believe it or not. I was a New Orleans bounce dancer. I used to shake my butt. <laughs> Tom Brady is the goal. That was another question. I'm so sorry. Make sure you double tap and share the live. Not no Boo Brady. What? No, ma'am. Stop it. The audition is 30 minutes. I saw another question. Oh, I just saw a question. Okay, I missed it. If you want to ask a question, please go ahead. Oh, what's up, Packers fan? I used to, I was this close to be a Packers fan. This close. What's your favorite food? Italian. Anything Italian is my favorite. I don't eat seafood because of, and it's weird too. That's like being from New Orleans is not eating seafood. It's kind of like weird. A lot of people are like, what the? <laughs> but um, for me, uh, seafood is a thing. It's a psychological thing. I'll just be honest with you. I tell people I'm allergic to it because it just makes sense. It's hard to explain the psychology part of about it, but seafood just doesn't have a taste to me. And that's just no shade. So I eat it, but it doesn't have, it tastes like nothing. I have no, and it's a psychological thing. Why? I'll explain that maybe in a later broadcast. Um, thank you. Double tap, share the live. If you wanted to send a gift, you can. This is my host audition. Double tap, share the live. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for coming. 
you missed this from yes what's your favorite city outside of my home city um honestly oh my and it, i guess new york like how could you not love every time i go to new york i just feel so last time i went to new york was in april i believe um and so and that was so, for me this is what it was i was in times square i was on live actually and i was in times square and someone recognized who i was and that just <laughs> I was like, what the hell? How in the world can I get recognized in New York? And it was just, it it just kind of was for me like that was it. Um, so right now I think I've oh I can't I need to find a way or an excuse. Um, I've been busy lately to just kind of come to New York again because that time I went to New York it was vacationy, and then something happened and I couldn't be on vacation. Thank you so much for the gifts. I love you. Uh, and I appreciate you. I have been in Orlando before, but that's not my favorite city. Um, Miami's nice. Atlanta's nice. I love Los Angeles as well. It's just so expensive there that it's just too much. It's just too much. I'm sorry. I'm cheap. I don't like to spend money. I look for steals, deals, and discounts. It is what it is. It's how I keep money because I don't spend a lot of it. If you're making it in Big Apple, you can make it anywhere. I agree. So I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for double tapping and share the live. I appreciate you for uh, taking time to come through my host audition and showing all the love. I love you so much. Thank you. My favorite city, um, though, is New York. It's expensive in New York, too, but I don't know. Something about the air in New York makes you feel like you just that girl. I don't know. It's just that for me in New York. So my favorite city is going to be New York. But California, is the, my, Los Angeles is real nice, too. Um, I'm a big city type person. Um, part of my life was spent in the small town country. And so, uh, I'm just, I just already know I'm a, I am definitely like a big city type person. So it's not, um, I've been a lot of places though. I've traveled in the country a lot. So yeah, New York makes you feel like you're somebody like New York makes you feel like somebody, but you know, you kind of go to New York and you get a comfort of not really being known. And then when you did get recognized by, it was just one person recognized me, girl. And so it was literally, it was the highlight of my New York trip. Um, I got a chance to meet some people that I definitely were in love with before I even met them. And I got a chance to uh, reconnect to an old friend. You don't like me. Um, I can do that, Ty. Just tell her um, whenever she's ready, I'll definitely do that. So thank y'all so much. I would appreciate any exclusive gifts that you have. Uh, I don't like the traffic in New York. And everybody's so rude. Okay, this is a good example. Someone just asked to come in a queue. Unfortunately, I am doing a host audition. And so I won't be able to answer you in the queue. Unfortunately, thank you so much for uh, wanting to come up, though. I am in the middle of a host audition. So please, double tap, share the live. If you have any free gifts or exclusive tickets, I definitely take those right now. If you want to like to gift, you can as well. But it's very important that you double tap and share the live. Thank you all so much for the questions. If you have any other questions, we have a few minutes left. So if you want to talk about something, let me know. We could talk about it or you want to just touch on it or whatever you want to do. We can do that. Thank you so much. Um... I'm so glad to be here on the platform. I'm so great to be auditioning for the Sip Nation Agency. Um, I'm definitely great to be connected. I will also be joining uh, the Sip Nation family as well. So I will love both of those. Uh, the whole Sip Nation experience will be for me. Have I done my Christmas shopping? I have not finished. I got like two more things to give. As far as the children are concerned, my nieces and nephews and my my uh, my daughter, she's old enough. She don't, <laughs> whatever, she's getting the cash app. Um, but for my um, son and stuff, I got everybody, everything they need. The only thing that I have to do at this time is get um, a few other little knickknacks and stuff for um, brother and cousins and stuff like that. They're supposed to be coming over and everything. I'm so sorry. I'm in the middle of a host audition. I have about five minutes left on the host audition. I'm currently doing a host audition. So if um, I'm not sure what happened, but I am doing a host audition. So please double tap, share the live. And if you want a gift, my favorite TV show. Um, That is a good question. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Easy question to ask. What is my favorite TV show? I, I'm not really a TV watcher, to be safe. Um, but I am a TV Hmm. I'm an old nostalgic type person. I can do like a 227 all day type binge watching stuff. 
Um, but I'm very eclectic when it comes to TV shows. If I'm into the show, I'm into the show. So I can even do like, um, I'm, I'm also a fan of like stuff like The Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad. I'm really like big on those types of things. Um, I'm a sitcom y type person. Um, Good Times, Sanford and Son, stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely into stuff like that. Um, I'm not no like Law and Order type. That's just Golden Girls is definitely a, Thing for me, I could binge. Oh, wow, I could binge watch that all day. How did you get started with your music career? Um, I was in a band at first, and then kind of just music has always been a thing for me. I understand Pink Unicorn. Thank you. What's your favorite interview I've done and why? The favorite interview I've done. All of them were great. All of them were great. Um, but the one that kind of Tay's interview always stuck out to me as the most surprising one, the most meaningful one, though. Um, without question, was probably Lowe's. Uh, the most interesting one that I learned a lot from was probably Pastor, really. Because I found out stuff I didn't know. Trina was real good. Like, all of them were real, real good. I think that, you know, um, but the best, I think, has to probably go to Ashley. Like, right, as so far. Um, Ashley was just all around a good interview to be. I'm sorry, I enjoyed it the most. Uh, like it, it, it kind of wasn't the best at any particular category, but just overall, just that you know, it was like because it was a, it was like good and everything. It didn't win over. It wasn't the most meaningful that you know. It was the most you know powerful, but it was just like overall. What's your favorite clothing store? Um, I'm an online shopper more or less, though. Worst interview. Probably polygon. Um do you like a second do you like the second line band? You know I like the second line band, girl. What? Um if you like so what I used to I used to actually host a club that was a second line thing. Um on Friday nights uh was at the celebration state for with um the big six brass band. I was the host of that. And that was more, like we did that, we did that was one of my longer runs. I would do that event. She could call me said, tomorrow. I've never been to Minnesota. I love a second line band, girl. What? <laughs> yes, Lord. I used to host one, and it was just everything. I used to love it. That was my thing. Um, Big Chief, love fire water. I got a little one two second line vibe. I'm definitely not good like the, some of the true like a second line shorter type stuff. I'm nowhere near level, but I have a little. Stuff. I have. I was been to Chicago when I was younger. I haven't been to Chicago as an adult, so I wasn't able to go around like I was. It's freezing. You ain't missing anything. Okay. What the hell is that black thing behind you? Uh, the canopy of the bed. It's the, the, it's, the, it's the canopy. What's your favorite NBA team? The Boston Celtics. No, I was asking, was you in a second line band? No, 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 no. I wasn't in a second line band. No, I wasn't in it. Have you been to Florida? Yes. I've been to Orlando, Jacksonville, and Miami. I've never been to like, Tampa or anything. And I've kind of drove through the Panhandle too. So, um, yeah. But I've been to those places. Do you ever come to Shreveport? I just was in Shreveport when I was leaving Dallas. Uh, if they book me in Shreveport, I do. But as far as coming and just chill and stay, not really. Um, the last time I was in Shreveport, one of my my sister's baby daddy is in uh, is from Shreveport uh, because she got pregnant when we was up there for the storm. What's going on, North Fifth? How are you? What's your favorite place to be in New Orleans? All over. I mess with y'all. Uh, I don't have like a just a favorite place. Um, email me at mcshakylive at gmail dot com, Kendra Walker. If you have a club or promoter or something. Definitely, it'll be a good key time. No problem. No shade. All right. So, yes. Yes. Oh, my. I'm in Dallas. I just was in Dallas last week. Last weekend. Yep. I left Monday. All right. So, thank y'all so much for double tapping, sharing the live. This is like the end of my interview, my audition, my host audition. And I hope I make it because I'm very excited to be here on the Beagle platform thank you so much for asking all your great questions thank you so much for double tapping thank you so much for sharing live i appreciate everyone thank you so much for the gifts merry christmas and happy new year to all of you um happy holidays all right we know that's the end of the host audition now as a host audition i do recommend you stay live about five minutes in the audition just to make sure that everything calculates yeah i hope i did get it like no shade i hope i become a host <laughs> like for real